Moving on. It's the Alavast Oracle. Oh my. Oh my. Very. Here we go. Yeah, we got the standard LOS Oracle Fair. I'll start things off by reading. Oh, hell yeah. Musical malady manifests. Only minors affected. Contagion or curse. By Karkoa Kiamat. Alavast is home to many people of all types, with many types of families and lots of children. Over this past week, the children of this great city take a blow to what they could be, to what, what they could be, with a seemingly inability to play music. You worship me, mortal. Wait, what? Reports say that one week ago in the morning, instruments began to not sound right around Livrosi Academy for gifted youth. Starting with the simple wind instruments leading into the brass, then the complicated wind instruments, percussion, and finally, the string section. The strings broke, the tubas jammed, the wind instruments got clogged, and even if the sound came out, it sounded like a strangled cockatrice. While magical mites had originally been thought to be the cause of the instrument issues, having been spotted in the academy earlier that week, it was later discovered that the problem was only affecting the children's. I just want to play hot cross buns. Why can't I do it? One child proclaimed when he went, went to an interview one of the clerics at the academy. We here at the Livrosi Academy for Gifted Youths take this matter very seriously, said Ariel Winterspoon. You worship me, mortal. Uh, the headmaster of the academy. Our jobs here at the academy are to encourage the arts and the youths of the next generation. We have been working around the clock to fix this issue for the children here and everywhere this curse has been affecting. The curse was not removable with a simple remove curse spell and appears to be stronger than the average curse. The curse didn't stop with the Livrosi Academy and Eve's Meadow. With Eve's Meadow Academy also reporting their school band has not been able to play either. Shit with very similar issues occurring as well. This is a blow for the Eve's Meadow Band as their concert, Sounds of Nature, has been scheduled for this coming week. It has since been rescheduled to an unknown future date. If your child has been affected by this curse, please keep your local church Livrosia in contact. We will continue to keep the, you on this issue as information you comes out. Me, Thank you. Uh, wild. I can't... Oh yeah, and now we got, all the tubas sound bad. And we got this amazing picture of Eve's Meadow Academy. I love this. Was this done by August Christopher? Was this done by. Oh, I was wondering because that intricate design work there on that gate. Let me tell you, man. Oh yeah. Because that's symmetrical. That is symmetrical. That's symmetrical, and it oh, just does so much that for me. A, that should be in the front of a book. It should honestly you know what this reminds me of actually you know those the old winnie the pooh books oh shit yeah you dare you dare utter the the, the, the name of Pooh. ah uh, yes winnie of poo you dare speak of winnie of poo winnie of poo winnie of poo slaughter all the children there's a drag there's a dragon cult one you want me to read that one sure thing can you grab me that link real fast and pop that in the chat real quick so I can grab it and I can Yes! Say it! There you are. Yes, this is delicious! Argent ally of Alavas abducted callous cultist criminal culprits. Culprits. Tuesday, a report was given to the council by one of the Draco draconic allies of Alavast about how he was abducted by a group of dragon cultists while he was visiting an outlying farm. The representatives listened to the report and went then deliberated in private over what actions to take. 
The dragon cult first came to the council's notice when they overran Labreas village, driving a large number of refugees to Alabast. They later attacked the city proper last year and captured and after murdered several residents before being driven off by the combined efforts by the city guard, local adventuring guild, and several irate citizens. Plus a dragon. Apparently, these enemies have been taking advantage of the city's attention, being diverted elsewhere to establish a forward basis near the city. The reported Silver Dragon said in his report that he was aided by an adventuring party from the city, and the identity of the party was not available at press time, but the Oracle may have solved the mystery. Several residents of the Tent Town District reportedly seeing an adventuring party entering into the city with what? the giant head of a green reptilian creature, which, by description, sounded like a green dragon. This adventuring group was distinguished by the presence of the one, the only, Sir Remus Corbo, formerly of the Veteran Army and aide to General Balton. Sir Corbo has since been released from his duties with the army and has distinguished himself leading other adventuring groups in defense of the city. Sir Corbo was also the mastermind behind disrupting efforts of pirates in the employ of Periton. Further investigation re hey. Further investigations revealed that Bond's Bond. A dairy several hours outside the city was where the abduction took place. Mr. Bonds reported that Sir Corbo and his party came to his place seeking information, and he was able, well, glad to help them. He also said that the group had returned back through his farm after the defeat of the cultists and had proudly shown him and his children the dragon head that they had taken as a trophy. An odd bunch, Bond said, but I can't argue with the results. The wife and I will sleep much easier knowing those cultists and the big green beast feeding them have been dealt with. In response to this increase in cultist activity, there has been an increase in quest postings ranging from simple scouting and reconnaissance missions to bounties placed on draconic enemies of the city. This, this, the, the is this, this is the symbol of the dragon cult. If you see anyone bearing this symbol, they are Alabas enemy. Report them to the guard immediately. Don't prank people by slapping a picture of this on their back. <laughs> God, there's five pages. My goodness, you guys. Oh, yeah. At no, least four, four. one article on every one of them. Van, Hel Van Helsing's Guitar Shop. Rock hard and loud with all new thaumaturgical guitars. Grundle and Sons gravel for all manners of cements and concrete. If you need gravel, check your Grundle. <laughs> the Bardix, thank you for sealing the pact. And becoming a level level nine sandwich. warlock. I'm gonna go get some water. <laughs> All right. I said Grundle too much. Grundle. More. I said Grundle today more than I expected to. By the way, I know if you had if you had to choose one celebrity from the internet, not like a Hollywood celebrity, but one, one internet personality to be a guest star on the Unexpectables, who would it be? One internet personality to be a guest star on the Unexpectables. And they're into it. Like, they're totally into playing the game. We had Joe Cat. We already had a big get. That Joe Cat fellow was really fun to play. Anyone with. I could get. Brandon yeah. Rogers. Brandon Rogers is. Congratulations. You just triggered a Vietnam flashback. I don't know what that's from. Oh, my God. Hang on. Well, now I didn't feel bad because mine was Rich Evans. This guy? Let me see. Where, where? Oh. Okay. What has he done? <laughs> don't scoff at me. I don't know shit sometimes. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm no, just no, gonna... Wait, this is the art street. This is the art street. This no, is the art street. I know, I know, I know. But I'm just gonna send you a video of his. Or I'll just, I'll just link you his channel. You could just... Fucking okay. here, you, uh, here you there go. We go. There we go. There we go. Just 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 gaze upon some of those later. You'll see what I mean. Chat chat is all Citra King's all about Rich Evans. <laughs> Rich Evans is from Red Litter Media. He's their husky friend who uh has a sad life. You've ever seen that picture of Dick the birthday boy? That's Rich Evans. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually him. Rich Evans is a, is a fucking national treasure and he doesn't have a Twitter. It's a crime. I want to be Rich Evans' friends and I want him to. I want him. 
<laughs> I want him to officiate my wedding, okay? Is it so much? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a sitcom character that knows it's in a sitcom and it hates its life. Christ. But anyways, we're going to read it. We got to read another one, dude. Uh, yes, I'm going to read Gregor's Sheath. Tricadia is sick. Oh! Tricadia is sick? Gregor has returned from Tricadia visiting injured family, dear readers. West Tricadia is suck. For some ungodly known reason, what Gregor thought was brainy cousin Albin decided to set roots down in land filled with wolfmen, batmen, crowmen, and racist men. Trip to and from Fort Barcelet became plagued with thievery crows, thieving away hyperinflated Tricadian gildens and forcing Gregor to take odd jobs around cities where people chided Gregor for not being up to speed. Gregor thus feels as if touching a torching of lands would only lead to net gain for world. In all seriousness, Gregor must remain, recommend to any foolish readers wishing to visit Hellscape to pack with them silvered weapons. Men and where kind grow natural resistances to regular arms like big cowards and weapons with magical origin are hard to come by. Silvered weapons, however, serve as great middle point to problem, allowing readers to ability to aptly defend self without traipsing around in searching of fancy talking sword. All one needs is favored weapon, a more conservative amount of gold, 100 is standard, a blacksmith with a hearty stock of silver to set oneself up with the best defense. Mm. Before arriving in Suckland, Gregor decided to get faithful goblin gutter silvered up. As Gregor was unaware of the true number of werepeoples in countryside. One odd job in Barcelet involved simple delivery of tools to outlying farmland farmland made deadly by sudden appearance of Wolfman. Wolfman, bearing impressive mustache, lunged first and nicked Gregor's muscly neck with fangs, forcing to ground. Right screwed in flash, Gregor began stabbing Goblin Gutter into Wolfman's own exposed neck, silver making blood of beast hiss with each stab. Gregor unsure how many stabs it took, but Wolfman fell after much more stabbings, eking out a throaty Mamma Mia before finally dying. Why? Gregor made stares at Beautiful Moon after battle and thanked Mighty Ilene for some reason. Rest in peace, Captain Luigi. I, I just, I feel like it's weird we keep missing him. Everywhere we go, right? Just showed up. Almond Library shorthanded in the face of an unprecedented influx of new books and the broadening readership. The Almond Library has begun hiring an additional staff for all positions. The Almond Library, oh sorry, the library is offering complete competitive rates and seeking cheerful, easygoing folk with a good mind. We tend to see increases in demand like this whenever there's a new threat to the city. People want to learn more about what's going on in the world around them because wrapping your head around the facts can give you a way to think about it as something other than this big scary idea. Like that whole cube thing. We have 20 copies of the cube in you from when that happened. For example, <laughs> explained Grinby Sizzlewick, of the assistant librarian at the library. But recently we've been getting hit with, well, a lot, even for Alabas. We don't we only just finished sorting out our shipment on fire giants and dragons following that attack a few months ago. Then we got a whole new wave of demands for books on Paradin and Oron, as well as some more recent requests surrounding mu the musical ph phenomena. This is all on top of regular stuff we get requests for. Fridgements of classic novels and wizarding textbooks for students as the, as the school year ends. Gardening books, all that. We also have someone who's ordering just tons of romance books. I have no idea who. They keep sending their tiefling bodyguard to pick it up. So you might imagine our hands are full. Well, at least mine are because I'm a gnome. I just have a very deep voice for a gnome. That was a gnome joke. You can laugh if you want to. Please laugh with me. In addition ah. to shelf, stalkers, and delivery scribes for those who demand it, the library is seeking to fill positions in the field of documenting restoration books. Restoration, book approval, accounting, record keeping, night janitors, and professional readers. That last one I might need to explain, Sizzlewick says. He does so. So, too many people just can't read. 
Like a lot of refugees from Elmer, but that doesn't stop them from being curious or worried about what's going on. We believe they have a right to knowledge about their situation. And that can't wait until they learn how to read. So we're hiring people to read books or articles or whatever to them. And we're paying com competitively for it. This is something we feel pretty strongly about. So I wanted to make sure you knew about that one specifically. That's so nice. I'm gonna grab my mm. water now because I am so ripped up right now in my throat from yelling last night. <laughs> All right, well, I think it's about time we wrapped it up. And of course, we're going to end on the letters to the Lady of Livrosia. What have you decided on? We're going to end on the letters to the Lady of Livrosia. Oh my. I want to read this Romantian thing with this little art piece beside it. Need a little snack? Come to the Romantian. If you are a person at large, <laughs> if you are a person of large appetites, our kitchens and parlors can provide whatever will satisfy you. Whether you need a full portion or just a small serving. Okay. Let us the Lady of Livrosia. Hello, lady! Are you playing the music? Uh, no, I am looking for it at the moment. Okay, no worries. I, I was, I'm glad you're on the case. <laughs> what? I saw those Patello lavender cookies. That sounds interesting. You passed it. Oh, yep, sure did. A little too enthusiastic. There we go. All right, hang on. Wait, hang on. Tell me when. I'm gonna actually. All right, go. Hello, lady. I am the construct designated as Big Q. I am inquiring about love questions. I am currently attempting a relationship with the lady statue in the middle of the fountain at City Square. Do you have any pertinent instructions to how I should proceed? Signed, Big Q. Well, before I proceed, uh, I have to acknowledge the raid from Stream Four Star. Ah! Holy shit, you guys. Stream four star rating with a party of 195. Holy crap, you guys. Welcome to the Unexpectables Fan Art Showcase. Indeed. Joining me Welcome. is Takahata101. I voice Nappa. And I voice Paragus, for those who care. Yeah, we're both a couple of great dads. With great mustaches. And Blackfoot Spirit! <laughs> <laughs> Blackfoot! With this offering! With ten! I will become a thousand! Almighty. Oh my god! Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the ten thousand! Woo! Bits. Bits. Oh my god! There's so much happening. What is happening? Thank you guys so much. Oh my God. Blackfoot, my goodness. Thank you so much. <sighs> what the? Blackfoot, you've been incredibly kind to us this week. I hope you're not breaking your bank or anything like that. We greatly appreciate it, but just- Yeah, seriously. Just know that... don't, don't give more than you think you can. Yeah, exactly. Make sure you take care of yourself first and foremost before anything else. You're incredibly, incredibly generous, but be sure to take care of yourself first and foremost. But yes. But anyway. Signed, Big Q. Dear Big Q, I love you. Appreciating sculpture is a wonderful pastime, and approaching it with an open mind and a little bit of research ahead of time can help you find a lot to enjoy in any piece. First, look into... Oh, shit. Hang on.
Uh, first, look into the cultural traditions of the artists and think about if the sculpture fits into the continuity of that tradition of that tradition or if it is a departure from it. Consider if the artist was drawing on inspirations or influences from other traditions. In Alabast, the mixture of cultures and races had led to a great deal of cross-pollination in art, not just with a single medium, but between mediums as well. Also consider what the sculptor was trying to do, was trying to communicate, and contrast that with what you actually feel is being communicated. There is no right or wrong here, since the viewer brings their own experiences to how they see art. Lastly, spend time with the piece. The more you spend with it, the more you will notice small details or imperfections. These may be off-putting or part of its charm. Make sure before initiating any con any contact that you have consent, though. Good luck. Dear lady, as a lizard folk, I know my body is a lot different from other humans. But recently, I've noticed that I've been shedding a lot of skin lately. I have no idea if this is normal, since I actually don't have any lizard folk friends. The friends I do have are a little weirded out. I don't like talking about it. I don't know if this is a health issue or just a part of growing up. Either way, I'm a little scared, sighing, nervous. Dear NT, I love you. Alavast climate often creates problems for lizard folk in one T. Because of a combination of lower temperatures and higher humidity that can lead to sluggishness and respiratory infections, if you're not feeling 100%, your shedding process may not go smoothly. Also, stress can affect the process. You could spend some time in one of the public baths around the city. The warm water will energize you and help your skin loosen up. And if you go with friends, you can relax and chat and treat it like it's a low-pressure social outing. Lastly, use a soft brush to stimulate the flaking of the skin from your tail, toes, and spikes to prevent tail rot. But don't force it to peel because you might damage your new skin. Dear lady, the other day I visited a friend who just had a baby. He was cute and beautiful, but afterward I was feeling sad because I don't even have a boyfriend or anyone interested in me. I wonder if I'm just doomed to be alone. I'm not sure how to meet people. Do I need to go to bars or parties or something else? My childhood friends are all getting married, having kids, and I, uh, I feel left behind. Signed, Lonely Lady. Dear Lonely, I love you. Finding someone to spend your life with, to spend your life with is different for everyone. And there is no single best method or place for to meet people. Spending time in places where there are a lot of people can help, but if you're not engaging them, the chances of someone dropping in your lap are next to nil. Be open to people around you. Often, someone you already know may be interested, but not the best at communicating that. And don't fall into the trap of expecting a fairy tale romance. Love is magical, but typically it comes about in a very mundane fashion. Lastly, don't judge your position in life's journey by the timeline of others. Take each day <laughs> as its own. The pact is sealed. My power oh my God, this, is this, yours. Mm, man, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. This Alabast Oracle is really, really good. Oh yeah, it's chocked it's full of different stuff and articles, including a recipe for some Patello lavender cookies. Oh. Yes, indeed. The secrets of Eastern Isle Stone. Eve Meadows Academy students get 50% off lessons. Learn this technique and more at Hinamari's Self Defense Dojo. Come along. Also, just for the record, uh, whenever you're baking or cooking with lavender, please use food grade lavender. Not, the, not, the, not, the, not, not just any lavender will do. No, you need specifically food grade. Grade A. Indeed, but. This has been 
the Unexpectables fan art showcase. Yes, it has. I'd like to thank Takahata 101 for joining me this week. Absolutely. And it's good to be back. I would also like to thank the people who are behind the Alabast Oracle, including but not limited to Froggy's mom on Twitter at Alcoholock at Boom1327 at Kiera Ryan1 at The Threadweaver at Red Wing New 52 at August Christopher at August Christopher at Pole Suit 47 at Fenrir Lives at Krakaton and at Kurosakura93 for all of your hard work and dedication to the Alabast Oracle 